Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the non cooperation back playing some more Dead Frontier Outbreak. Now, technically, yeah, this game should have been done, like, much faster, which it, it can be. It's just like, I like, to, I like to take my time. I like to enjoy the story. I like to embrace into the story. I like to, like, immerse into it. There really is no immers immersion with, with this, but like I said, with me, I don't know how, but I, I did it. Yeah. I think it's the only reason why is because I actually can see myself in situations like this. For the bus continue the street. Uh, co-workers. Now, we convinced one of them, uh, to distract them. Well, let me see. Distract them, get away from the entrance so the others can get through safely. But I think that would be me, and I would be getting killed. I began making as much noise as I could, running in circles around the infected. Yeah. My plan worked, and they began to follow me away from the entrance. The others swiftly entered the parking area and began searching for a suitable vehicle. I was glad they had made it inside, but I was still in serious danger. I eventually managed to lose the infected and quickly caught huh. up with the others. But I promised myself I'd never volunteer to be bait again. <laughs> okay, so we think okay, so we got all the survivors. So in that one, I'm the courageous one, I'm like, fuck you all, I'm better, but I ain't doing that shit again. Different options for vehicles so that works. we could make our escape. So apparently I'm better. On the far side of the parking area, we found a pair of road motorbikes. No. Close oh, we did already. Okay, so the motorbikes, the Jeep, freight truck, sports car. Now we said the Jeep, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, the only options for the Jeep was to either pull out the zombies or to search for another car. So I was like, what the fuck? So let me just try the truck. I suggested taking the freight truck. The others quickly rejected my idea, <laughs> stating that the truck would be too slow and wouldn't have enough maneuverability. The rest of the group decided that we would take the jeep. We approached Go ahead, have fun pulling to out! Inside. To our dismay, we saw a pair of infected inside. To the truck! Flying at the windows in an attempt to escape. Wait, wasn't that the uh, the only suggestion? So I suggest pulling out from the jeep and suggest trying another vehicle. Yeah, that's what I said. I made my, made, I made my suggestion, but the others didn't listen. They really wanted that jeep for, uh... And a few zombies weren't going to stand in their way. The others immediately flung open the doors and started trying to drag the That's zombies what... out. However, without my help, they were having serious trouble, and it seemed like they would most likely end up dead if I didn't intervene. I'm not gonna- no! Fuck that shit! I headed towards the freight truck. My idea! Uh, let me see what- uh, it's probably not gonna I work climbed though. aboard my chosen vehicle. And sped away from the car park onto the main street. It's not gonna work though, so let's just see what happens. And then the roads were littered with bodies and car wreckages. It was all I could do to avoid them. The truck Everywhere just plowed right through them though. I could see only scenes of carnage. It seemed that those not already infected were fighting a losing battle. My thoughts quickly turned to my wife. I tried to tell myself that she would be okay, but that didn't stop the horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. I knew I had to get home as soon as possible. Yep. In the distance, I could see a gas station with a few of the zombies on the forecourt. I quickly glanced down at the fuel gauge and saw that I only had about a half a tank remaining. <laughs> Get into the attack, convince store, and take supplies. You have... You have half a tank. You're good to go. I decided not to stop for gas or supplies due to the potential danger. Half a gas tank was more than enough exactly. to get home anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Like, like, oh, I only have half a tank to go a couple, uh, go a couple of miles. I'm sorry. Are we driving a Prius or something? Even if we're driving a Prius, it will get us there and back. To the main highway out of town. However, it wasn't long before I noticed a mass of vehicles blocking the road ahead. The combined sound of all the honking, shouting, and screaming was deafening. Damn it. Nobody had kept to their lanes, and cars were packed so closely together that, that not even a bicycle could squeeze through. Hmm. The blockage extended so far down the road that it was literally impossible to discern what the cause was. Wait patiently for traffic jam to clear. That's not gonna happen. Take the vehicle off-road and go around the blockage. Turn around and find another road home. I don't even know now. So if I take the vehicle off-road, I think it's not gonna work because I don't have an off-road vehicle, I have a truck. 
if I try to find another way back home, I might run out of gas. But let me try to go off road. Realizing that there was no point in waiting, I decided to get off the road. I decided to get off the road and drive through the open field instead. At first, I made good progress, and as my thoughts turned to my wife, I started driving faster and faster, no. determined to get home to her as quickly as possible. By the time I saw the old tree stump among the crops, it was already too late. What the fuck? When I awoke hours later, I realized how lucky I was to still be alive. Hours later. My ride was totaled, and I wasn't much better. Several of my bones were broken, and I could barely move, let alone walk. Right, so he's dead now. It wasn't long before one of the infected found me. Yeah, when well, in fact I found me and able to defend myself, I was slowly eaten alive. Why slowly? Come on, you can- fuck you. So let's try this again. So... Continue without stopping. Turn around and find another way back home. I decided that there was no point in waiting for the traffic to clear. And that without the jeep, driving off the road was just too dangerous. Yeah, of course. Because of one tree fucking stump. Off the highway at the or if you could have just drive just slightly safer, safer or slightly so slower, home. it would have been avoided. Or I had your fucking seatbelt on. Who the hell? Ah, oh, never mind. It's like, who drives without a seatbelt? As I sped Does, down, you ever seen Zombie Land? What, no, one of the one rules is buckle the fuck up. Wander. Without the distraction of imminent danger, I began to remember the horrific scenes I had witnessed just an hour ago. Images of mangled corpses flashed before my eyes, and my head began to spin. I swerved onto the wrong side of the road, just as another vehicle pulled out from a concealed entrance. I braked sharply, but it was too late to avoid a collision. Amazingly, I wasn't seriously injured, but my ride was badly damaged. Let's see if the other driver's hurt, try to steal the other driver's car, try to rip it. No, there's no. Fuck, um. I don't know, if a truck gets ran, runs into something else, I think the other car is gonna be fucked up, so I don't think if they try to steal the other car in the yard. If I try to see if this other driver is gonna be okay... I'm pretty sure he's infected. If I try to steal it, I mean, he's like I said, he's infected, but let me just see what happens. As I walked over to the car, I realized that the driver was either unconscious or dead. I didn't care which. I opened his door, removed his seat belt, and dragged him out of the driver's seat. Huh not noticing the deep bite marks on his arms and neck. Before I realized he was infected, he regained consciousness and sunk his teeth into my yeah, wrist. Of course. To my wrist, master escape, run off to the woods, but stumbled into the, uh, some of the infection after soon afterward. Okay, so, up, oh, down road, find the road. All right, so fuck the car, so we gotta carry on foot then. I realized that without transport, I would have to walk the rest of the way home. Not wanting to waste any more precious time, I continued my journey on foot. After a half an hour of walking, huh. I began to recognize my surroundings and knew that I would soon be home. There were several oh, different Jesus. routes I could take. Continue along the main road. <clears throat> well, the train line. Take a shortcut through the cornfield. Take a shortcut through the woods. Alright, so the main road would just take longer, or just, yeah, it would just take long. Uh, if I take a short, let me see, if I, if I take a shortcut to the cornfield, I think I'll be fucked. If I take a shortcut to the woods, I think I'll be fucked. If I take a, follow the train lines. I decided to get off the main road, as it would undoubtedly be dangerous in such a heavily populated area. I decided to follow the train line instead, since it ran not far from my house and would be totally deserted. Hopefully. Sure enough, I didn't see another soul. I finally arrived oh, okay. in my neighborhood, exhausted. I knew that my house was just a little further down the street, but the area was swarming with the infected. Most of them seemed distracted by what few survivors remained, but I knew it was only a matter of time before they noticed me. Hmm. I remembered about a small alleyway nearby, one that would take me most of the way home in relative safety. I entered the alley, and as expected, it seemed totally devoid of life. <laughs> However, as I walked past a large dumpster, an infected old man stepped out of the shadows and tried to grab me. Uh, grab him by the neck and push him away. Uh, uh, grab him and you bite him. Uh, okay, um, yeah, punch him in the face. Uh, usually that doesn't really work. Grab his torso and push him away. Grab him by the neck to push him away. 
Try not to grab him up here. Try to get yeah, torso. Throw him over your. Sh you, you don't know judo, so I guess grab him by the torso and push him away. I grabbed his shoulder and pushed him backward, narrowly escaping being bitten. Yeah. Okay. So that I one worked. I bought myself valuable time, but it wouldn't take long for the creature to regain its balance and come at me again. I turned to run back the way I had came, only to see that another group of them had followed oh, come on. and were now blocking my retreat. My only hope was to try and get past the lone infected. The old man. Grab a brick and throw it at his head. Grab a brick and hit him in the head with it when he gets close enough. Try to run past him. Either I'm a, a fucking pitcher and I know how to throw a brick, pinpoint and throw it with enough velocity to crack his head open, I'm gonna try to grab the brick and hit him in the head when he gets close enough. Grabbing a brick. I waited just long enough for the infected to get close before smashing it into his face. There was a sickening crack as his <laughs> jawbone fractured and blood sprayed from his mouth. Nice. My former neighbor fell to the ground. <laughs> oh, so I knew him. My former up, former neighbor. To run past. It's the old man from um from Happy Wheels, right? Yeah. Down We're almost done, by the way, I think. The street. When I looked over my shoulder, there was no sign of my pursuers. I could see my house now, just 100 feet or so away. My heart sank when I saw yet another group of infected wandering aimlessly <laughs> between me and my goal. It's like, MOTHERFUCKER! Try to sneak past them, try to run past them, try to go through the neighbor's rear garden. I think the neighbor the garden might work. I decided that it was too dangerous to carry on down the street. I went around the back of one of the neighbor's houses and climbed over the fence into their garden. It was tiring, but I carried on scrambling over the fences until I got to my own backyard. As I approached oh, here we the go. house, I noticed the glass what is the little house door in the prairie? smashed, and the door left slightly ajar. I was terrified for my wife's safety. Oh, okay. Go straight indoors, go to the shed to find a weapon. Um, fuck, I don't remember what- I think, you know, just, I just go straight indoors. The of my wife being devoured flashed before my eyes. Without thinking, I ran straight into the house to help her only to bump straight into the knife-wielding looter who had broken in to steal my possessions. The fuck? He attacked me, and without a weapon to defend myself, I was quickly stabbed to death in my own home. What a dick! Alright, so go find the weapon. That whoever had broken into the house could still be in there, and without a weapon, I wouldn't be able to help my wife. I headed over to the shed and checked my pockets. Yeah. Luckily, I still had my keys and was able to remove the padlock and open the door. Inside, there was a wide range of tools to choose from. Wide range of tools. <laughs> Chainsaw, sledgehammer, crowbar, or hand axe. I don't know. Um, I would say the chainsaw, but the chain honestly, in, all, in reality, chainsaw's not really that good. I saw sledgehammer's too heavy to wield, crowbar's kind of heavy to wield, and the hand axe is pretty good. The hand axe, since it was light and easy to use. Yeah. Although perhaps not the most powerful of weapons. It's an edge weapon! That shit will slice anyone! With my weapon in hand, if, I left the shed and walked back to my house. If you don't shut it up, then, then that's your I fault. I discovered why the back door had been left ajar. A teenage looter emerged from the house carrying my television, <laughs> obviously intent on profiting from the crisis. When he saw me, he dropped the TV and pulled out a large kitchen knife. At that moment, I couldn't tell which one of us was more afraid. <laughs> Attack the looter, let him go. Be like, dude, just go. Let him go. I told the looter that I wasn't going to hurt him, and that he could take the TV and go. Huh. He didn't bother to pick it back up. Instead, he ran over to the nearby fence and climbed over into the neighbor's garden. I should have just killed him. Having dealt with the looter, I walked in through the back door. I was relieved to finally be safely indoors, but I couldn't rest yet. Not until I was certain my wife was okay. And then the looter comes back, with more friends. Search the house for her, lock the back door, barricade the back door. Uh, I think just search the house for her. I had wasted enough time already, and wasn't about to waste any more. I immediately started looking for my wife. I began searching the ground floor for my wife. As I came into the living room, I saw that John from next door was standing there. He had his back to me, and was clearly oblivious to my presence. His shirt He's was infected. covered in red stains. 
Attack him with your weapon, see if he's okay. Back away slowly and hope he doesn't notice you. Just kill him. surely infected, so I snuck up behind him and hit him as hard as I could on the back of the head. His skull made a satisfying crack and he <laughs> fell to the satisfying floor. Satisfying crack. I had never liked him much anyway. <laughs> John was a dick! Fuck you! As I went to go upstairs, I noticed a note had been left for me by the front door. I recognized my wife's handwriting immediately. The note said that she couldn't wait for me any longer, Damn it. and that she was going to pack her bags and take the car to her parents' house in the countryside. Countryside. As I read the note, my heart sank. I prayed that she would be able to make it to her parents in one piece, but knowing how hard it had been for me to get here, I couldn't help but wonder if she was still alive. When I realized I may never see her again, I began to feel tears rolling down my cheek. Hmm. Leave the house and head for the countryside. Continue searching the house, actually. I pulled myself together and resolved to keep searching. I needed to make sure the house was secure before planning my next move. Also, you know, grab some supplies and then go As to the I countryside. As I climbed the stairs, I heard an odd shuffling noise coming from my bedroom. Shuffle. I didn't know if it was my wife, a looter, or another of the infected. But I'm gonna go in anyway. Uh, bust in, wait, uh... Uh, bustin' weapon ready. I kicked the door open and charged in with my weapon raised, ready to kill whatever was on the other side. Ha! The scene that greeted me will haunt my nightmares for years to come. My beautiful wife was pinned on the floor, desperately trying to fight off one of the infected. She could barely keep the creature at bay, and if I didn't act immediately, she would surely die. Alright, so let's see what our options are. Hit the infected in the head, run away, hit the infected off her before attacking. Because if I hit the infected in the head, the blood will seep from that head to, to her, and she'll be infected. So kick the infected off of her. I ran at the infected and kicked it in the face with all my might. It was <laughs> Feel cold! Oops! ...away from my wife, and I was able to quickly finish the job without the risk of hitting her by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> or the whole time, ah, oh shit, I hit my wife! I was finally reunited with my wife. I dropped the weapon and held her as tightly as I could. In that moment, I was happier than I had ever been, yet the feeling would not last long. No oh, shit. I asked her if she was okay, and she showed me her hand. <laughs> Blood dripped from several bite marks on her fingers. I didn't know if she would become infected or not, or even how much longer she had. She's gonna become infected. She sobbed as I struggled to decide what to do. T take her with you anyway. Cut off the thing, off the fingers and... I'm gonna kill her. Cut off her fingers and... Wait, wait, wait. Let's finally reunited. Drop the weapon. Bite marks on... Oh, on her fingers. Okay, so cut off her fingers and take her with you. I knew I had to do something and do it quickly. If I could stop the spread of the infection, I might just be able to Well, she to was bit like life. right here. You have to cut right we here just in case. The kitchen, took a clean meat cleaver from the knife rack and tied an improvised tourniquet around her wrist. Within seconds, it was over and I was carefully dressing the wounds with bandages from our first aid kit. Yeah. I didn't know if she would survive or not, but at least now we had hope. My wife and I <laughs> spent some time discussing what to do next. Like, we so realized that we couldn't stay in the house forever, as it was just too dangerous this close to civilization. We decided that our best bet was to load up the car with food and supplies, yep. and then head for her parents' house this out in the country. This episode's way too damn long. Could have I made, made sure episodes. the house was secure, dragged the corpses down to the basement, and then helped my wife get I everything the corpses. ready. Fuck the corpses. She looked pale and weak, but it didn't seem like she would turn. At least not for a while yeah, she's yet. losing blood. By the time everything was ready, it was already nightfall, so we decided to spend one more night at home before hitting the road. I don't oh. think either of us slept that night. But it was better than traveling in the dark. Damn it. We left at dawn. <laughs> we left at dawn. To be continued. Oh, look at that. We got an A. So, we survived the day, yes. Sur uh, and my wife was survived. And my tactics were grade A awesomeness. So, you are a solid understanding of the zombie outbreak, and your survival skills are far above average. You probably survive a real outbreak. My compassion, well, the only reason why I already played the game for compassion, despite your intense physical pressure of the outbreak, you remained a kind-hearted and generous person. As best as I could, I mean, 
hey guys, uh, like, what was it, like, the office, hey guys, how you doing? So, um, let's do this, that, this, that. It's like, no, we want to do that. Well, then fuck you guys. It's like, that's just my tactic saying, fuck you. So, that was Dead Frontier Outbreak. Uh, there is a second one, uh, and I will play that next week then. So, next time on the Non-Cooperators on Flash Sunday, we're going to be playing another game. Dead Frontier Outbreak 2. So, we'll see you next time. Where did you come from, Katnado?